I'm Lil, Chief of Lion Tribe. And so I'm back with my weekend update. Or weekend overview. So, we had that Showtime card. Lara vs. Heard in Vegas. Man, I tried to go to Vegas for that one. That was, uh, I've been looking forward to this fight ever since it was announced. No, ever since it was talked about. I remember, I remember Jerry Heard was talking about it on his Instagram live. He was like, you know, I'm, I'm looking for that Arizona Lara fight because I quote, he said, I think Lars a top dog at 154, so I want to fight him. And so that, that, and this is me speaking, I thought that was, I thought that was cool. I was like, a Lara herd unification, that's, that would be fireworks. So I was trying to go to Vegas for that one, but that didn't end up happening, so I just, I just saw it home. But let me start with the other cards real quick. So, Gallimore versus Williams. J Julian J. Rock Williams. So, J. Rock, he fought Jamal Charlo back when he was a 154 IBF champion. I remember, like, J. Rock, he had been calling that Charlo for, like, a while. And I think he finally, like, worked himself up to be, like, mandatory or something. And he had been, like, he had been tying a lot. And then people are like, oh, he's ducking J-Rock. Charlo's ducking J-Rock. He's afraid of J-Rock. J-Rock's going to knock him out. And so Charlo was like, you know what? Fine, I'll fight him. And then he got outworked. He got, he got, he got KO'd. He got dropped like four times in that fight. J-Rock got dropped four times by Charlo. I mean, they were both showing good skills in like the first two rounds and then... And then Jamal Charlo just like he just showed how there was a difference in levels and he knocked them out. And so his so on Saturday, J Rock fought what's his face? Nathan Nathaniel Gallimore. That dude Gallimore, he was like twenty and one. And one draw. Um it was hilarious. He was talking. He was talking a lot of mad, mad ish. He was like, he was like, he's not no rock. He's a pebble. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you like fruity pebbles. You fruit. He was talking all this. He was talking big, you know. At that press conference, it was getting me low key hyped. I mean, I like. I didn't know who Gallimore is. I knew who J Rock was, but I was like, who's this Gallimore guy? So that got me that got me interested in that undercard. He was talking he was talking a lot about J Rock. He even brought like that fruity pebbles cereal box. He was like, I'ma eat you or something. He brought that fruity pebbles box to that way in. That so that was funny. But in the fight, J Rock just outworked him. I mean, it was probably like 9-3 for J-Rock by the end of the fight. J-Rock won like a unanimous decision. And the second fight was uh, James DeGale versus um, Kill Truex. Now, I didn't really pick anybody to win because so I, I wasn't sure. I really wasn't sure how James Ago was going to do this time. So I didn't pick anybody to win that fight. But I watched it. Um, so leading up to the fight, James Ago was talking about how he had gone into the first fight too soon after like after recovering from like a shoulder injury, injury. And that he had lost his belt that way. In an upset, he he said he had been embarrassed in that first fight. He acknowledged how bad he looked. And I remember at the weigh-in or press press conference, I think. Caleb Plant was like, "You're gonna fight me, right? You're not afraid to fight me, right?" And then James Go was like, "Yo," he started pointing his finger at him. I'm not sure what he said, but things got interesting. But anyways, the fight, the fight overall was um, it was pretty bloody because there were a lot of, there were a lot of headbutts. Now, to me, they looked unintentional. 
because it's like a southpaw versus an orthodox fighter. So they didn't look intentional, but a lot of guys can make it look like they're accidents while they're not trying to make it an accident. They're like they're trying to headbutt their guy, their opponent. So and that could have happened. But I thought I thought James Gale won it. It looked like seven five to me. A lot of people were saying it was draw. A lot of people said it was Truax who won. But I, I, I thought James Gale won. It was seven to five. So he got his belt back. But I'm not sure if James Gale will really be able to like beat anybody else that wants to succeed. After that performance it looks like I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. So Lara Hurt. Yeah, I was hyped for that fight. I, I couldn't wait for that fight. I picked I picked Hurt to win. Like I said in previous videos. I thought Hurt would do better than Paul Williams because he wouldn't get pushed to, he wouldn't get pushed around like Lara. Because I remember in that Paul Williams fight. Laura would like push him to the ropes. He had he had nice ring generalship, and I I just thought Hurd wasn't gonna let Laura do that, and I and that's what happened. Like he never got pushed to the ropes. He was in Laura's face. He was making it his fight, and so I thought Hurd won that fight. Oh, and then twelfth round, Hurd knocked Laura down, which made a lot of people me. The, that's what two of the judges saw that made them think Hurd won. They thought it was like Olara winning, but all of a sudden he gets dropped. So Hurd won. And I don't, and they thought that was the deciding factor. That's what a lot of people thought the deciding factor was. But even then, some people called the fight a draw. Some people thought Lara got robbed again. But I think this was the first time that Lara truly lost. Because in that... Paul Williams fight, I thought Laura won. And in that Canelo fight, I thought Laura drew against Canelo with Laura winning like the first six rounds and Canelo winning the second half of the fight. But that happened so now so now Hurt is um the unified champion at light middleweight or super welterweight. But the thing about the thing about that win though is that after that, when they're talking to the fighters, Heard Heard was like, you know what, I'm gonna call the shots now. But he didn't say he wanted to fight Charlo. But the day before, at the weigh-in, he was like, you know what, Charlo, I'll fight you, and I'll move up to 160, and I'll fight your brother. So I hope that I'm over-speculating or I'm overthinking it. And that Hurd will fight Charlo next instead of some like mandatory fight or whatever. I hope he's just, you know, he's saying he's saying that he calls the shots now, but he's still gonna look for that Charlo fight. And that Charlo fight's gonna be a great fight. I can't wait for that. Hurd versus Charlo, fireworks, fireworks. But anyways, so. You know, comment who you thought won in that Laura Hurt fight or that James DeGale killed Truax fight. Um, join the Lion Tribe by subscribing. I'm Leo, she's the Lion Tribe, and I'm out. PG Sports, the future of sportswear, keeping boxing fans fitted since 2011. Use my promo code Lion Tribe and get 10% off. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you like my all my videos, why don't you subscribe and comment your thoughts. I'm on to the next one.